Hey, I have my Akbo portable power pack, 1000 watts, fully charged. It took about five hours to fully charge it. So it's good to have a full charge on it. I'm gonna demonstrate it today. I'm gonna to cook chicken and broccoli in a slow cooker. I have it back here. Oh my God, sorry, slow cooker, see? I'm gonna cook it outside. I could cook it in here, but I'm gonna cook it outside just to demonstrate that we can use this portable power pack anywhere we are. So I'm gonna plug in the slow cooker, make chicken and Alfredo broccoli from Frozen. And I'm also gonna make some Tuscan style lasagna soup from Wegmans. Katie said this was really good and Kathy wanted to try it. I'm gonna put that in the Hot Logic Mini and plug it into the second outlet. And then when we have about an hour to go before we eat, I got some cinnamon sticky buns I'm gonna put in the other Hot Logic and warm them up. So the whole meal's gonna be cooked with this. I'm gonna take this outside and put it on the table. It's nice, isn't it? Sure is, a thousand watts. And the slow cooker is 270 watts, which is great. I'll assemble the chicken in the house here. The Hot Logic Mini is 45 watts, which means I could power 22 of these with that box there. Great. All right, let me show you how I'm gonna make this chicken quick. This is so easy. This is actually a recipe you're gonna to see today while I demonstrate the Ocmo power pack. I have one pound of frozen chicken tenderloins. I can't wait to try this lasagna soup. Holy cow. We should make that ourselves. Didn't we? First I'm going to put down some Alfredo sauce on the bottom. Get the bottom nice and wet. Open my chickens. Right now it's 11.25 a.m. Pretty frozen, isn't it? I expect to eat around 3.30 or 4 maybe. Then I could keep it on low. Slow cooker all day. As well as the hot logic can stay in there all day. You know that. Gotta get this frozen stuff off of there. Come on. They'll come unstuck when they cook a little bit. Two more. That's a big slow cooker for just six pieces of chicken and some broccoli. But I'm just demonstrating what we can do with this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of chicken. Let me wash my hands. I washed them longer, but I cut out all the water noise. I know you don't want to hear that. But squeaky clean. Frozen broccoli florets. Put as many as you want. Chicken and broccoli. Yeah, put them all in. Right. Look good so far? Was it easy? I say so. Put the rest of the sauce in. Alfredo. Mm, it's gonna be good. Sure is. Isn't this fun? I could put this in the back of my pickup truck and drive around all day and have a nice meal. Or anywhere you are. Camping, at work, take your crock pot to work, or your slow cooker, or your hot logic, definitely. Let me scrape a little bit of that out. We don't need any more water because it's gonna make its own water as it cooks. I just like that Alfredo. That's what it looks like. This is the Kasori slow cooker. It's a nice cushioned lid. I like that lid, watch. Nice. I'm gonna set that on low when I go outside. First I'm gonna prepare the Hot Logic lasagna soup. Where's my Hot Logic? There it is. 
Here's a blue one today. Hot Logic Mini. And now if this would fit, I could put these right in this container, not even open them. But it's a little high for that, see? Yeah, I don't want to stretch that. But you could cook like that, or you could cook like that. I already cooked a whole can, a sealed can of soup in there. But to make it nice, I'm use the Pyrex that came with this hot logic. Just pick up, open this up, pour it in there. Without tasting it. Lasagna soup. Who thought it? Oh, it got pasta in it too. Oh, it smells like lasagna. I didn't know. I thought it might be just a cheesy soup. Look at that. You know what? I think I made this in the pressure cooker. I made pizza soup, and I made, I do believe I made lasagna soup. And sometimes food companies like to take our original recipes, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to go look through my videos. I know I made pizza soup, and I'm pretty sure I made something just like this. If I didn't, we're going to make it. But this is all you have to do to prepare this. Zip it up, plug it in outside with the big power pack, and it'll start it. Remember that when there's an hour left, I'm going to get my other Hot Logic Mini. I'm going to put some sticky buns in here to warm them up, you know, for the meal. All right, let's go outside. Let me show you what I got going on. It's a little noisy out here with the neighbors doing yard work, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put this on a separate table, but it looks like it'll fit here. You hear that noise over there, don't you? So, cooking without electricity. Let's turn this on. Fully charged. Take my Hot Logic Mini, which I can cook with anywhere, even outside on my deck. Plug it in. First, you. I read the directions. Like I said, I'm gonna read thoroughly the instructions there was not much there because it's so easy the main instructions they said was hold down this button for two seconds and it goes on anything else like the USB just hold it down it turns it on and it shows you on the screen there see the battery is full let me plug this in now the hot logic is starting to cook let's plug in my Kasori slow cooker And beep, you hear that beep? Let me make sure it's on low. We're cooking already. Low, medium, let me put them on medium right now. Time, it's set for five hours. So 1130, 1230, 1, 2, 4, All right, that's gonna be good enough. I just hope I don't attract any hungry animals around here. Better turn on my fly zapper I got, right? I will, I'll plug that in. So here we go. Imagine being on a picnic table somewhere or in your car, your RV, your van. Oh, you know what? My phone needs charging. Let me plug my phone charger in there as well. Into the high speed USB. Turn that on. See it? See that light up? Did you? Watch. I don't know if you can see it in this light out here. And charge my old phone. Yep, here it boop boop. I know you can't see it, but it's charging. And the ring is lit underneath. That's all I gotta do for a while. Just keep the animals away. Isn't that great? And I could have cooked this inside just as well, but I wanted to show you outside. I'm not using electricity. Just the Ucmo thousand watt power pack. Oh I like it. <laughs> okay, I'll check with you in a couple hours. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I cut the grass yesterday. And watch some TV, take a nap. Right now I think Petticoat Junction's on or Family Affair. Alright, when we get closer or halfway through I'll show you progress if that starts steaming up and smelling good. Alright, be back soon. Don't forget we're gonna have dessert with this too. And we can plug what one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more items we could plug in to the available ports there. Nice. All right, I'll be back. See, there's the bug zapper. Remember when I reviewed that? I like that. 
I'll let you know if I get any today. Hope they're not attracted to my food. Remember, that's my supper too. Pal buzz. All right, it's been two hours. It's just about 1.30 p.m. My phone was charged, so I unplugged this. Charged up real quick. See that power bar went down. See, it went down two, two bars on the power there. And I was out here earlier, and I, I did hear a fan. No, I don't hear a fan. A low fan on the power station. Looks like it's cooking in there. I don't want to open the lid. Smell it. That feels warm. Nice. Okay. Just updating you. And remember, this power station isn't just for cooking. You know, it's for anything. Anywhere you need power. Power tools. Whatever. Heater. TV. Refrigerator. I'm hungry. I'll be back. I just saw the power level came up one more. I like it. All right, it's two o'clock. I have my other hot logic. And remember I said I'm gonna put some dessert in there? Look what I got. Oh. <laughs> two cinnamon sticky buns. Frozen. I think they're left over from Panera bread. So, let's wrap them loosely with foil. You kind of a tent on top. Put that in the hot logic mini on that side. Where's the other one? I lost it. Here it is. Same thing here. Wrap it loosely so the icing doesn't stick to the top. Put that in your hot logic mini. Zip it up. Pull out the plug from the back. Where is it? And plug in our second hot logic. So we have lasagna soup. Remember that? That's nice and warm. This is cooking good. I didn't open it yet. We're we'll looking there. Hot. Still got good power there. Can't wait. Maybe about another hour and a half. Mm. This is fun. 3.15. And I think it's done. The buns, remember? The warm. Lasagna soup. And now I hear a little fan in here. See, once earlier I heard a little fan on the side of that. Look, we still have two bars there. And I saw it would go up to three. Even when it was on four, it would go to five and four and five. You know, back and forth. But I think we're done. I'm going to make myself a plate full to show you how good it did. Let's turn this off. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Kathy's home now. Now this is not a table. <laughs> I just don't have much room out here. This is for my bun, my dessert. Just, I'm gonna get the chicken out. Wanna look at it? You gonna have some? Oh yeah. Oh look, can you see in there? Probably not, right? Oh, it smells so good. I didn't open it all day. It does smell good. Broccoli looks a little toasty, I don't know. It looks good, I love great it. great and creamy. Remember, they were frozen. I'll save you some chicken. <laughs> I should have got tongs or something. Shouldn't I have? Yeah, do you want me to get you something? No, this is good. I forget how many was in there. Ooh, that's pretty tender. Mm. I used all the broccoli. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, then lasagna soup. I'm gonna put in a little bowl like this. 
Hang on. All right. Lasagna soup. When I opened this and I saw it, I said earlier, remember I made something like this. Remember? I made pizza soup. And then I looked to see if I made lasagna soup, and I don't think I did, but... Well, I'd like to make it for our pasta. Yeah, butter, too. look. Because that's how my pizza soup came out. Wow. Kind of. That looks great. That smells good, too. And it's hot. And it's cooked. It smells a little cheesy, too. Mmm. Mmm. Put that on the side of my plate. I'm just doing this quick to show you how everything came out. Here's the cinnamon bun for dessert. Oh, nice and warm. Oh, even converting this. Oh, wow. That oh. looks fucking gooey. Yeah, it is. Oh, look. Ooh. Oh, my nice gosh. That smells good, too. Made in the hot logic. That was frozen, remember? All right, let me taste my masterpiece made on the Akimo power station. All right, let me back up. 1,000 watts. Let me get you in focus. Okay, <laughs> hold on. All right. Look at that. Oh, and I have this on the side. <laughs> A complete meal made with my 1,000 watt power station, two Hot Logic minis, and a Kosori slow cooker. Let me taste this chicken. Oh, let me taste that lasagna soup. Oh, do I need a spoon for the soup? Fork for the soup. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. So tender, Alfredo, chicken, broccoli. Mmm. That's so good. And it was fun using this to cook with. And remember, it's not just for cooking. It's mainly for emergencies. Or for work. Or for camping. Or your car or your truck. Cook a meal like this going down the road. <laughs> Thank you to the Akmo 1000 Watt Power Station. Thanks Hot Logic Mini. And Kasori. <laughs> Talk to you soon. This was so good. Check this out. I'll put a link down there. Mm, wasn't that fun? Doing that all day. The lasagna soup is really good. Mm. It's all good. See ya. Oh, look at that. Don't go yet. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Mmm. <laughs>